We have very sad breaking news to report here this morning on CountryCast. The Metro Nashville Police Department has confirmed the identity of a body in which was pulled from the Cumberland River just this morning, approximately eight miles from downtown Nashville. The body has now been confirmed to be 22-year-old missing Missouri student Riley Strain. And just one hour ago, Metro Nashville PD released this news onto their X account. Here is the tweet for you right here. They wrote, breaking the body of Riley Strain was recovered from the Cumberland River in West Nashville this morning, approximately eight miles from downtown. No foul play related trauma was observed and autopsy is pending. And as you can see in that same thread, MNPD did hold a briefing this morning around 945 AM. Chief John Drake of MNPD spoke with news reporters answering questions, also detailing the location of Riley today and how he was located in the Cumberland River. And here is what Chief John Drake of MNPD had to say. Drake revealed that this morning around 7.28 a.m. Central Standard Time, we received a call from a worker at 61st Avenue at a company that runs the Cumberland River that had been searching for anything that would pop up on the river, especially looking for Riley Strain if he would surface here. As they were removing an object from the river, they noticed what appeared to be Riley Strain pop up. The fire department was called in to retrieve the body from the river. The medical examiner's office reviewed the body and we've confirmed that it is Riley Strain. The family has been contacted and there are no signs of foul play at this time, according to the examination here at the riverbank. Mr. Strain still had the shirt on that he was wearing and still had the watch and also other identifying factors that helped us identify who he is. At this time, the family has been notified. There will be an autopsy more than likely sometime today, and we'll have a little bit further from that point. Again, after the initial examination today, police are still going on their initial theory that unfortunately, very tragically, Riley Strain fell into the river with no foul play indicated within this investigation. During the briefing, it does not appear that Chief Drake mentioned if the cell phone was also located on Riley's person. However, he was asked a very good follow-up question after giving uh, the briefing. Chief John Drake was asked if there was any other evidence that could support the police's initial and ongoing theory that that he fell into the river and there was no foul play involved into this investigation. Chief Drake answered that there was no other evidence to indicate foul play uh, at this time still and that they were told that based on his height and weight, he would surface anywhere between 14 to 20 days and mentioned that today is the 14th day since his disappearance. Chief John Drake also mentioned that search crews were headed out this morning within the same area in which the worker uh, located Riley Strain in the river. They had already had the idea of being in that vicinity. And based upon the tips and evidence that they have received throughout this investigation, they were looking in the right spot as the, the time frame of this investigation where he could possibly be in the river. However, again, the worker on the river is who located Riley Strain. Chief Drake also mentioned that he believes the workers went to remove an object out of the river and as they were removing that object is when Riley Strain then surfaced. Chief Drake seemed to feel confident that an autopsy may take place later today, tomorrow, most likely at the latest, which as he mentioned, will be able to highlight more evidence if there is any of foul play or if there is not any evidence of foul play in this investigation, it will give them more of an insight as to what occurred with his passing. And of course, along with the toxicology report that will also be sent out from the chief medical examiner's office, those sometimes as as we have seen in the past, can take up to months before getting those results back as well. A very sad day. Our hearts, our prayers go out to Riley Strain's family and friends. Uh, as we have covered this, I've mentioned before, it just gets harder and harder uh, to, to witness this case unfold. And today we are sadly uh, bringing the breaking news that Riley Strain has passed away and has been located. That's your latest update here from Country Cast. As always, hit the subscribe button so you never miss out on any breaking news and updates.